the two main reasons why NVC will contact you after your I want a repetition is approved. If you want to know something about that, just stay tuned and I'll be right back. USA Mundo. Hello everybody, this is John from USA Mundo. Welcome back and thanks for watching. If it's your first time on my channel, as always, welcome uh, today i have another video for you guys and before i start today's video uh if you've been watching my video and you never subscribe please uh, subscribe hit the subscribe button if you are new here and uh, you want to subscribe to my channel all you gotta do is to hit that subscribe button okay today i have another video for you guys and like i said today's video is about the main reason why nvc national visa center will contact you you know that if you are a petitioner you petition for you petition for your relative or uh, meaning that your your spouse or your children or your parent or even your siblings you know you know the first thing to do is to send your document to uh, uh uscs okay so once your case is approved by uscs uscs will send you a letter saying that your case is approved and now it will move it to nvc national visa center Okay, now that uh, your case uh, is moved to NVC National Visa Center, you will wait for NVC to contact you. And then most of you guys are in that situation. You don't know when NVC will contact you. You've been waiting for NVC. You'll be sending me a question on, on YouTube, you know, ask me when NVC will contact you, okay? But before NVC contacts you, it got to be a reason. NVC is not because your case just moved to NVC and they're going to pick up the phone or they go, they're going to uh, send you a letter uh, through mail or email or whatever. No, it doesn't work like that. It got to be a reason. And the, the, main or choose, the main two reasons why they will contact you is uh, what today's video is about. Okay. So the first one is NVC will only contact you if your I want to repetition becomes current okay if your I want to repetition becomes current NVC will contact you meaning that if it's time for you to start the immigrant visa process okay NVC on call that immigrant visa pre-processing basically so that's when they will contact you and know, ask you to pay fees ask you to send a, a document for the petitioner to send to send the form to fill a form uh, uh, and then also a document of the uh, visa applicant okay so the second one the second reason why NVC will contact you is when your I want to repetition will become current within one year okay in that category or you will see people who are green card holder who petition for your, their relative or people who are um, uh, US citizen or a uh, petition for your siblings you know so in that, that category they um, the I want to repetition process uh, is, is longer okay so in uh, that situation in that category uh, NVC will contact you only uh, if they know that your I want to repetition will become current or within one year okay and then like I said in, uh, 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 and when they contact you uh, they will ask you to pay fees and they will ask you to send the document or fill a form all that so you can start a uh, pre processing so if you are somebody somewhere right now who's in that situation whose case just moved to nvc national visa center and you've been waiting or you don't know why nvc is not contacting you it's because your i want to repetition is not current yet or your i want to repetition won't be current within one year okay that's it for today's video i hope you guys love it learn something from me if you know somebody who needs to watch this video please share with that person if you like the video hit the like button if you want to see more video like this one all you gotta do is click on this once again my name is john thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next video usa monday